Hi guys, so it's a Friday and time for another Unraid tutorial. This time we're going to learn how to pass through an NVIDIA graphics card when it's the only graphics card in our server. And we'll do this by dumping the video BIOS and then adding it to our XML. Cracky. Today's video was requested by a YouTuber, The Orange Pulley, and in this video we're going to pass through an NVIDIA graphics card as the only graphics card in the primary slot on our Unraid server. Um, to do this we're going to need to dump the VBIOS of the graphics card, but to do this we are actually going to need two graphics cards. That's because we can only dump the VBIOS from the graphics card when it's in the secondary slot. Now if you don't have two graphics cards, maybe you can borrow another one quickly off a friend. It doesn't matter if it's AMD or NVIDIA. Um, it should only take you about 10 minutes to do this. As you can see here, my primary graphics card is an AMD 6450 in my primary slot and my GTX 1070 is in the secondary slot. Once the hardware is set up correctly in your server, restart the server and go to your VM tab. We're just going to have to check that the graphics card is selected for pass-through. As you can see here, my NVIDIA is selected as the graphics card for this virtual machine. So just click on update and then we're just going to have to start the virtual machine with the graphics card pass through. Um, this step is important so please don't skip it because it's important that the graphics card has been started in a VM before we dump the BIOS. So basically just start the VM and then just shut it down straight away. So now it's time to actually dump the BIOS and we're going to need to make a remote connection to the server. So we just need to make an SSH connection or a Telnet connection. So the first thing we need to do is get a list of all PCI buses and devices in the system so we can look at some details about the graphics card. And to do that we run the command ls pci space hyphen v. And having run that we just need to find the part here which references our graphics card. And as you can see here, my NVIDIA graphics card is referenced here. And the important things to look at here is the number beside the graphics card, the 02 colon 00.0. And that will, may well be different for you, but that number is very important as we use that in our commands. And you'll notice that the same information, but in a less detailed form, can be found in tools and then system devices. As you see here, this is my graphics card again. Another line to look for here is a line saying kernel driver in use. Um, you may or may not have this line here. If you don't have this line here, that's absolutely fine. It just means you don't have to unbind your graphics card in order to dump the BIOS. Uh, but if you do see this here, then you're going to have to run this command. Echo space quotations, then the number of your graphics card quotations space and the greater than sign space forward slash sys forward slash bus forward slash pci forward slash drivers forward slash vfio hyphen pci forward slash unbind and this will unbind your graphics card enabling you to dump the bios um, as you see when i put this command in i got um, an error saying no such device that's because my graphics card was not bound so if you think your card isn't bound you could just run this command anyway just to be 100% sure because it does no harm being run you'll only get this error so now we've checked that the graphics card is unbound we can now run the following commands cd space forward slash sys forward slash bus forward slash pci forward slash devices forward slash then the number of your graphics card and then forward slash and press enter now you'll see it's gone into that directory and the next command to run is echo space one space greater than space rom and then hit enter now the next thing we have to do is to make sure we know a share somewhere on the array that we can actually dump this BIOS to. I'm going to dump mine in a share that I have called test. So for me it would be cat space rom space greater than space forward slash mnt forward slash user forward slash test forward slash and then I call my file msi 1070.dump. Okay, so that command would have actually dumped our video BIOS to our share. So now we have to type echo space zero space 
greater than space run. Okay, so you should only run this next command if when you ran the lspci command earlier that you saw the kernel driver in use line in the details about your graphics card. Or if when you ran the unbind command here, you didn't get an error. So as I didn't have to unbind my graphics card, I'm going to delete this command. So the next thing I'm going to do is just have a look in my share folder called test. And here you'll see the video BIOS file, the msi 1070dump And if we look at the file size, we can see it's 131 kilobytes. So I've heard a lot of guys on the forum saying they've tried downloading their video card BIOS and it hasn't been successful. They've either downloaded it from Tech Power up here or they've used GPU-Z to extract it. But if I scroll down to the bottom here, this is my graphics card, a GTX 1070 Seahawk, and I download the BIOS. I'll just drag that onto the desktop here. If you see the size here, the size of this file is 256 kilobytes. That's totally different than the one I downloaded myself. There is something different about this BIOS and it probably wouldn't work. You know, so please always make sure you dump the BIOS um, using the terminal. It is a lot more difficult and awkward, but it is going to be right. So now we need to power the server down and take out the primary graphics card, leaving the NVIDIA card on its own. So after you've done that, just reboot the server and then click on to Tools, then System Devices. Um, and now we need to check that our graphics card has got the same number assigned. As you can see here, mine is still 02.00.0. Yours may be different, you may find that your graphics card has been given a different number, now the other one's missing. So just check that before you go on to the next step. So now go back to your VM and edit the XML. Um, we need to scroll down and find our graphics card. Here you can see mine, um, you can see um, the bus 02, slot 00, and function 0, which corresponds to the number of my graphics card. Um, the other part is in to do with the sound. So the bit we need to edit is this top bit. Um, make sure you ignore the sound beneath. We only need to add the ROM file to the actual graphics part of the graphics card. And we add that above the address. So just type less than rom space file equals quotation forward slash then the location of where you've put your rom file. Then close quotation and forward slash and then a greater than. And you can see here that's the file I've just referenced the MSI 1070 dump that's in the test share folder. Now I'll just click on to update. Now there's one important thing to remember, because this is a custom edit we've put into the XML, should we make any changes in the VM manager on Unraid, we will have to put this custom edit back into the VM. Anyway, let's start up our VM. And here you can see I am remoting into my Windows with Splashtop Desktop. And if I go to Properties and Device Manager, you can see here that the GTX 1070 is the display adapter. But why not let's start up a game and see it working properly. I love this game, Metro Last Light. Yeah, everything seems to be pretty cool. Just the NVIDIA card in the server and Game's working absolutely fine. So guys, that seems a good point to finish this video so I can play this game. I um, haven't played this for ages, so I think I'm going to relax now and play this. So anyway guys, if you like this video then please give it a like. And if you want to see more from me then please subscribe to the channel. Anyway guys, whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's as much fun as I'm going to have playing Metro. And I'll catch you all in the next video.